together Like love that's too entire She make it sound better Like sopranos to a choir When hitting on those high notes Calling me her maestro If love making is a symphony Then this is our recital Making it in the music industry is never an easy route Talent is everywhere and producers are hard to please. And if you're an artist from Guam, becoming recognized in this business is even harder. Moving out is not just an option, it's a must. And without your family by your side, emotions can run high. Former Guam resident Chris Santos, pursuing his music career was no different. In terms of like having the Chamorro support system that you know we have back here, you know, mom, dad, you know, brother, sister, everybody. Um, pitching in, no, it's, it's really a dog-eat-dog -dog world in terms of you're going to do this and if you don't fly, then you're going you're gonna to fail, you know, so yeah, it, it was really, it was a blessing in, it, in and of itself because it showed us how strong we have to be in order to, to gain any kind of momentum or take any kind of ground doing what we're doing. Santos left Guam about four years ago to live with his son and daughter who were out in Virginia. Having a background in music, Santos knew he wanted to pursue it, but had no idea how. Living in the East Coast with a lack of media support towards hip-hop was intimidating. But with every sacrifice he has made and hardships he has endured, Hudson and Guam was born. Hudson and Guam started, uh, we met through a mutual friend. Uh, one night, you know, I did music back in Guam. And uh, I hadn't done music when I went to the States. And one night I was just honestly praying to God, like, come on, man, you got to tell me what I'm supposed to do. And um, my, my friend Hudson texted me, he said, look, I made a beat, I wanna do some tracks, let's make it happen. Um, so we were choosing a name for the band, you know, he was like, what do we need to call it? He didn't have a name, so he just went with his last name and everyone in the States calls me Guam. I told my grandma when I move out there, I'm gonna hold it down for the island, so had to be Tao Tao Guahan, eh? you know, <laughs> Guahusi Guam, you know, Chris Santos, but representing for the people. Hard work and determination paid off as the duo now have an album out called Visions. You can listen to some of their tracks on YouTube as well as MTV and can purchase the entire album on iTunes. Santos says that although he looks up to artists like Bob Marley, Tupac, The Beatles, Eminem and Notorious B.I.G., his true musical inspirations are the local guys from Guam. It's more collectively about listening to good music and being eclectic and really hearing it. I, if, if I were to point at any specific musicians, I gotta say a lot of like local guys, you know, JD Crutch, um, you know, um, you know, uh, my group, Low Budget, Sick Mind Entertainment, they, they've been doing music for years. My, um, and, and a lot of what they've done, it, you know, Jerry Castro, they, they, they inspire us to keep doing what we do. So more so on a one-to-one -one basis than some big name that's kind of uh, abstract, you know, where we have no real affiliation to. Teamwork was definitely a factor that helped the duo get to where they are today. Chad Hudson was the musical mastermind. He's a classically trained musician, and he came up with the beats and, um, and, and, and wrote it and pretty much mastered and engineered everything, and that's been his position. And my role has been more of the lyricist as well as the promotional side, you know, uh, with my background out here, knowing how to connect, secure sponsorships, secure... Um, venues and that such. So it, it's, it's pretty much a two-part team. After making a few tracks, the two knew they needed to be on air and decided to make an event by posting a video up on YouTube, which gained a number of responses. After receiving feedback from followers, they met up with Kevin Kasanovich, the driving force behind the William and Mary's Hip Hop Collection, and one thing led to another. He was like, this is a great idea. I think we should do it live and in the flesh. And so that's how Mike Hawk happened, and, and, and it's growing. It's definitely growing in size, so it's exciting to be a part of. The Mike Hawk competition is taking place at the nation's second notice public Ivy League school, the College of William and Mary, on August 9th of this year. With graduates like Thomas Jefferson and Ben Franklin, Santos stresses that it is an honor to be able to have the competition held at the college's library. This is a bridge to get local artists in the Williamsburg 757 lower, uh, Southern Virginia area an opportunity to have their music, to have their um, craft on display. And so basically, they sign up for the competition, they come out and they perform, there's a panel of judges, kind of like American Idol, and, uh, and the judges at the end of it um, choose a winner to, to, to be the Mike Hogg champion. And so it's a way to bridge artists, give them a platform to perform for a prestigious institution and have their work displayed there. 
In the end, perseverance is what led Hudson and Guam to start the Mike Hogg competition and to become what they are today. Santos expresses that without having faith, none of his accomplishments would have been possible. The truth of it is, you know, have faith, you know, you know, you know, always give thanks to the man upstairs, you know, Biba Zos Tata. Um, you know, first and foremost, you know, I can, my heart can stop beating at any moment, you know, so without giving thanks to him, um, everything doesn't really happen. And then second of all, second of all, you got to have, you know, integrity. You have to have a good team of people that are around you and you have to be able to be dedicated to say, you know, I'm going to do this even when other people say that you can't and you got to keep grinding. So, you know, if there's anything I could say is basically have faith, you know, surround yourself with good people, give thanks and show love, stay humble and ultimately keep grinding, man. Never let your foot off the gas pedal until you get to the goal. So. That's pretty much the only thing I can say. And, you know, be proud and represent where you're from, you know. Tell, tell, tell.